A cell phone! A pencil! A radio! A nickel! Glue! An apple! Aspirin! Headphones! Hey, this is Crusher. I'm here in St. Louis, Missouri, and the boys' tryouts are today. You're going to see this line of people. So, give me a second to get over there, and I'll show you this line of people. Well, if you weren't trying out, they didn't let you in because they didn't want you to hear all the shitty singers. So I'm going to go eat. I can tell you how that movie ends. I kill all the damn butterflies. Smash! Since they won't let us in the auditions and we're full, now we're going to check out the science center. She used to be hot. Hey Tony, I found your brain. Wow, it's my mother-in-law. Messing with me, your ass will end up in a case like this. few people out there that don't know what this says, I'll translate. It says, listen to the scene, man. Check it out. So that's what the inside of Hooters look like, huh? Wow. She's hot. This is like a lot of the people that we know. No balls. Sit. Good boy. We're here in the sign side and I'm doing this at the same time. He's done with the auditions on the way to go get him. We had a fucking flat because we hit a stupid piece of metal. My day's done. I'm going to the goddamn room to go to sleep. Sitting Bye. on the toilet, taking a shit. So yesterday, to end the day, we had a flat tire. We got to the hotel, went to bed. Woke up today. It's a good looking day. And we're going to go to Six Flags. We're here. Okay, this thing has to end. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching the scene because we love it. And I'm gonna let you go because I'm gonna ride some rides. Yeah, roller coasters! And we're back. <laughs> we're back. We're not gonna talk about that subject anymore. We're gonna talk about something new. Yeah, how'd you like that? You like it. Did you see what, what we just showed? Because I don't know what the fuck we just showed, but it was good. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> not sure what it was. Man. So. I want to bring up Facebook okay. before we get into my weekend and shit. Um, we just saw Facebook sent messages. They want to ban us for seven days <laughs> for sending friend requests. You bastards. Friend requests. You fucking stupid. And what did they say? It was a form of harassment. I'm hoping it'll back up and show this. <laughs> Man, I hope it shows. So it's some kind of form of harassment or some bullshit. Oh, it's not, man. Yeah, I'm tied up. To... <laughs> oh, you fucking Facebook. 
I'm sorry, bitches. So here's the thing with Facebook is they're stupid. <laughs> they uh <laughs> now we started the scene page because we wanted people to watch the show. It's called promoting. Unfortunately. It's called networking. Unfortunately people, you know, don't know about the show, so we're trying to hook you up. So come up with the scene show page for Facebook. We have 195, 199 friends in a week. In a week. Yeah, I send a lot of friend requests. <laughs> Get it open. It's called networking. But I promote it. If people want you to know, you know, if you want people to know about the shit, you tell them. Promote it. Yeah. Simple as that. Well, Facebook's freaking out because we sent way too many friend requests, and it says it's that we're harassing people. Yeah. And then it asked us, it had three lines, I want to meet new people, um, I want to meet celebrities and some other bullshit, and I just want to make new friends. Those are your options after you go. We are promoting a show. Yeah. Where is the trying to promote our shit? Yeah. <laughs> I, that? I, I thought Facebook was a social network. <laughs> That's what I thought, you know, but... So getting you in trouble for networking, socializing, so, is a penalty. Now, I could see you've got your spam pages, you know, you've got, yeah. your, you've got your hookers that are trying to sell. Look, you can come to our titty side. Ooh, I could see that. But surely Facebook could look at this shit and say... These are two fucking retarded dudes trying to promote their <laughs> shit. Just let them promote their shit. I don't think they look at it. I think they just look at something. You know? Like, oh, there's no way he has 100 friends. There's, there's no way they got 199 in a week. It's, it's just like the YouTube thing. Oh, there's no way they have their own songs. You know? You're yeah. Not, you're not have a recording studio and, and a recording company and blah, blah, blah. You're and, not. You're not eh, there's no way that yourself. could happen. Yeah. It couldn't be all you. <laughs> it is people. It is YouTube and Facebook. So you had any ass? Facebook. I don't get it. Y'all really don't get it. I mean, you're trying to promote your shit. Yeah. But you're telling me I can only promote my shit ten times a day. Well, now I can't even promote it for seven for days. For seven days. I'm bad for seven days. <laughs> so if you want to be my friend, be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to add us because we can't. Yeah, we can't add you for early seven days. So <sighs> if there's a rock somewhere on this planet that we haven't ever returned, add us. I'm gonna send. I'm I'm sending Facebook a message when I get home. First thing I'm gonna do when I get home is send them a message to this Zucker fucker. <laughs> Zucker fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm gonna send him a message. And I'm going to say, how the fuck do you expect us to promote our shit when... On a social network. When we can't... Be socially networking. Be networking. <laughs> when Facebook, when your dumbass started out with no friends... Yeah. How did you get all those How'd friends? you get a million something friends? Because them motherfuckers had... You had to keep promoting. Yeah. So why won't you let us promote? Yeah. There's some people I couldn't even send a friend request to because they had 5,000 friends. Apparently you can't, once you get up to a certain number, you can't add nobody else. Hmm. So I, I know like um, Kelly Raspberry from the Kid Craddock show. Yeah. She had to like do a, another page, start another page on just Facebook. So she house all just so she could, and, yeah, just so she can get more people on her pages. So, yeah, what's wrong with people? you know, Facebook, up that shit. Yeah. Don't be stupid. Yeah. This turned out to be another MySpace. They're being stingy yep. over a free fucking site. Just charge for the goddamn thing. Well, they, you know they want to do it anyway. Don't tell them that. Well, you know they want to do it. Fuck, <laughs> we'll just go back to MySpace. They're trying to make a comeback finally after they die. I know what we need to tell them. <laughs> what's that? Right there. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And just go with it. 
<laughs> Don't be so fucking uptight. Zucker must be prejudiced. <laughs> Gets my Mexican people. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm a damn white Mexican Mexican. You're trying to fuck with me. <laughs> trying to keep the man down. <sighs> but it, it really, you know, it really does kind of piss me off because it's you're stupid. trying to promote, you know. It's just stupid. And That's I, all there is to it. <clears throat> That's like YouTube when you upload a video. And they say that something in the video isn't yours when every bit of every it bit is of it yours. Is. Yes. Why are you saying that? Yeah. yeah and, and then they want you to prove that everything in it's yours. Yeah. Come to my fucking house and <laughs> I'll show you the video where I recorded it. <laughs> oh, and, and speaking of video, I, I got another, a new video of my trip to St. Louis. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. good. I'm on the shitter. You gotta look at that. I was gonna tell me. I was gonna be surprised. Oh, uh, there! Is, I wanted to know that because <laughs> I, that's nerve. That's a lot. It's of a really nerve. good piece, though. It's a lot of nerve. It's a really good piece, even though he's on the shitter. It's it's intuitive. It's yeah. intuitive. I think that's the word. Yeah. <laughs> See, I should have did that with mine. Because Kirsch has been doing these all these videos, on scene videos, and I haven't caught up. <laughs> you know, I've 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 pulled my weight. What the it, hell? It, it it's funny when you do those two because okay, I went to the science center, and you know a lot of people were in the science center in St. Louis, and that's a cool place. Yeah, so go look, go check it out. But it's funny because kind of a dirty dude. Imagine that. It happens. <laughs> so when I see mannequins with. Where you can see like the insides and then you see the titties on the inside. I got to talk about it. <laughs> but you know how, how hard it is to try to get something out while you're holding a video camera? When you got like a bunch of girls standing around looking at this <laughs> mannequin. And I got it out. And you got 50 people around you and they're all politically correct. And and you're it's not. it's yeah. funny because as soon as I press stop. And I looked over, these two women looked at me and I can't believe he just said that. <laughs> Bitch, I just said that shit. So get the fuck on. I'm learning how to just say what the fuck I want while I got the camera. Well, it works for everybody and, else and in the world, why not? And if somebody don't like what I said, turn the fuck around and walk your fat ass off before I kick you in the yeah. ass. <laughs> well, it's like, I'm a big Gordon Ramsay fan, right? Yeah. And everybody's like, how does he not have, keep from having a heart attack? Yeah, because he's always <laughs> screaming and telling people what he thinks. Yeah, yeah. That's how he keeps from having a fucking heart attack. He tells you what he thinks. He gets it off his chest <laughs> right then and there. So why not do it? And then he's done. He's done. Yeah. yeah. Completely I, invented. I, um. So it's going hurt you to do that too. Yeah. yeah Europeans, sure. man. You ever met any Europeans? They're yeah, some straightforward yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what they think. Um, you, know? you don't have to like it. You don't have to like the tone of it. <laughs> Just like some people in Ohio. I don't know what it is about Ohio. They're probably the closest to Europeans you can get. They just say whatever comes out of their, you know, whatever they think. They just say it. <laughs> and you're like, wow, you just said that, you know? But to them, they're like, yeah. no big deal, you know? I had, um, oh, man, it's been a week ago, I guess, this happened. There was a gas station right in front of Walmart in this town. Mm -hmm. It's a busy gas station. Well, there's a line of people. There's, I counted six people that I know of that were behind me. I'm in line and I'm the next one to go to the register. Yeah. And I, I had to pay for some gas. And this fucking stuck up, goofy little bastard <laughs> walks in the door. The door is <clears throat> pretty close to the register. This guy walks in the door, walks in front of me and hands the lady his, his fucking credit card right in front of me. Yeah. When it's, you know, when I'm about to hand her it's my, my turn, card. damn it. <laughs> the dude just cuts right in front of my ass and hands her the fucking credit card and tells her 25 for guys. <laughs> I grabbed a credit card from that girl's hand and I threw his fucking credit card at the door. And I said, I don't think so, motherfucker. Get your ass at the back of the line. <laughs> and he looked at me and I said, get your fucking ass in the back of the line. You don't cut in front of me, motherfucker. I, it, people that know me know I'd never do that. 
<laughs> but you don't ever cut your fucking ass in front of me when I've been waiting 10 minutes in the goddamn line. <laughs> ever. Six foot five, 300 pounds, and attitude. This motherfucker walked over and grabbed his credit card and walked to the back of the line. And all I felt was this. Yeah, yeah. People in the line were going, fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. And, and I paid for my shit, and the lady at the register was still like this. And I just... Dumbfounded. I just put my, my money in her hand. Said, uh, I got some gas. <laughs> but I, I just wonder, after I left, because everybody in that line, you know, the, the guy behind me was saying, that was fucking stupid. Try to cut in front of a dude. That's fucking <laughs> stupid, man. But she probably wasn't saying nothing. Yeah, and, and, and I just wonder, after I left, how many people just still kept ragging that dude? Yeah. Because, but, you know, I, from, from I, never, I never <laughs> get mad enough to, you know, well, I don't know, lately, though, I've been really... But... Are you PMSing or what? I think so. I think so. I think I, need some, I think I need some nerve pills. Because <laughs> I um, maybe you just had that much shit to say. Maybe I didn't sure. just, you know, I didn't even think twice about it. I just grabbed the shit from her fucking hand, ripped it out, and threw it at the door. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even know where I threw it. I just threw it <laughs> anywhere but there. Yeah. What the fuck is your? Yeah. Don't do that, people. And. and I, was, I saw a lot of that in St. Louis this weekend. Yeah. I, I guess we'll get into that. I went to St. Louis. Well, did you really? My kid tried out for The <laughs> Voice. <laughs> My kid tried out for The Voice. Yeah. There were over 9,000 people. 9,000. That tried out for this damn thing. They they had so many people, they had a 7 o'clock session and a 2 o'clock session. Wow. So they had to break that shit up. Um, so the judges had to eat? Yeah, I guess so. They had to breathe. Well, I don't they know. Stress you stress they're under. You hear that much fucking bad singing. <laughs> I bet some of it was really My ass bad. would leave too for a while. <laughs> but my son made it through the first round, which, you know, is, I guess it's all the 9,000 people to try out for the first round. Yeah. He made it to the second round. I forget how they break it down. Um,. Made it to the third round, which was like the top 100 people. Awesome. Made it to the fourth round, which was the top 25 people. Awesome. And from the fourth round, he got put on the maybe list. Maybe. So, you know, top 25 out of 9,000 fucking people. Yeah. Can't beat that. I mean, Hell no. you know, the only way to beat it is to be on the fucking show. Yeah. But... There's That's all these awesome. people, you know, that didn't make it to past the first round. Yeah. So the boys should be proud. Nine thousand know. down to twenty five. Yeah, and yeah. you know, I was wondering ass because they wouldn't let us in <laughs> to see the fucking thing because they knew. Uh, you know, I guess they saw the camcorder. They too. saw the show, is what it was. And they were gonna, you know, they know you can't record or nothing. <laughs> or get the video camera away. They're like we saw that guy on the internet. Make sure he doesn't get anywhere near the. You want to explain camera. to me why? <laughs> Your ass don't want me in there, <laughs> and they push this shit away. They don't even want you fucking with them. <laughs> so I had to. The fuck was that? But a good storm. Mm. So I had to find something to do. So we went to. We went to eat at Golden Corral. Oh, Crusher's I favorite restaurant. I love the Golden Corral. <laughs> um, I like the Red Lobster. He likes Golden Corral. Oh, Golden Corral. <laughs> it's bad because I can't eat the chocolate fountain or anything now. But I walk by and I go, oh, that it's shit smells snow, good, yeah. man. <laughs> shit, I had like three three fucking strawberries covered in chocolate just smelling it. <laughs> so it was good. But He's like, oh, damn. <laughs> One had day that. I'm going to make love to you. Oh, shit. That shit slipped. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> but uh, went to the Science Center in yeah. St. Louis and... They got some cool shit there. Yeah. I've never been there. Oh, all, all, the thousand times I've been to St. Louis, I've never been to that science center. Yeah, but check it out. Oh, it was it was cool. They had a live moving fucking dinosaur. And it, it was really cool. Alive? Yeah, it was alive because you control it, you know. <laughs> it wasn't alive, alive. Oh, but you could. It was. I could, yeah, you can control this damn thing. Awesome. And control the motions of it. And, you didn't have to meet your wife and kid? 
<laughs> no, tried to, but he, he couldn't have made his neck that way. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to invent shit to do that day because we didn't know how long he's gonna fucking be yeah. in there. You know, going from nine thousand to there's a lot of bad five, a lot of bad singing. You that know, took so a long time, I bet. You gotta weed through these motherfuckers. Yeah. So they had him like sing two songs on the first time, then he had to sing two the second, then he sung one the third, and I think he had to sing one or two the second time. Right. So I mean, they had him singing a lot that day. The whole performance. Yeah. And um, so after the after the science center, he calls us so we go to leave. I back into a piece of metal on the fucking curve. Oh man! Only piece of metal sticking out from that curve on that whole damn street. Cause I looked, I looked for a long way, <laughs> and I backed my tire right into the side of the tire. Psst, dead, gone, new tire. So my day was done. I said, fuck it, I'm done. So this was at, was this on the street? This was on the street next to the side center. City of St. Louis? Fix so, your shit. Yeah, I'm going to send you people video. Cause and a bill. You're going to see that shit. Gonna, <laughs> that was a new tire. Walmart's going to pay for it. You are too. <laughs> but, I'd send them a damn bill. <clears throat> but the next day we went to Six Flags. Yeah. And... Something is wrong at Six Flags because for middle of July, when I can just walk up to a ride and get right on, yeah. and then I can never have to get off because there's never anybody up to ride, something's wrong. I'm not complaining. Because I, <laughs> I rode shit like 29 times. <laughs> but that's weird for middle of July, yeah. like mid-summer. That, that place should be packed. Yeah. You know, there should be 10,000 people. And there, like the parking lot, you know, it should have been so packed. I had to walk three miles to get there. Yeah. But just get out and you're right there. <laughs> oh, wow. I need to go six flags this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so there's one gripe. Well, not really even a gripe, but I want to know what people think. I want people to leave comments. Down below. Because you people never leave comments. <laughs> and I know at least 30 of you watching the damn show. You at least co leave a comment. I, want, I really want to know what people think about this. I checked out every woman that was at Six Flags. Yeah. Every damn woman, I checked every one of them out. Because I noticed a pattern okay. with every woman you see. And think about just being out somewhere. Yeah. And think about the women. I do that often. Every <laughs> an ass goes by, I don't see. Every <laughs> woman now has a tattoo. Yeah. Every so. damn woman I saw at Six Flags, even the ones that are all, oh, Charles, come over here. <laughs> Got a big ass tattoo. Or <laughs> tattoos that fucking important that and I mean I have tattoos yeah this is coming from a guy I'm, who I'm a tattoos. tattooed up dude I like tattoos but does every woman in the world have to get a stupid tattoo <laughs> from the little butterfly on the chest the tramp stamp on to the, the back. tramp stamp to the the sleeves <laughs> do you really need, you know I, I never I honestly saw one I saw a girl that I could have swore she was 13. Yeah. This girl, I mean, she was with, I guess her mom, I don't know, fuck. The girl looked 13, but she had like four tattoos on her arms and shit. Hell no. How the, yeah, I, I just don't get the tattoo I, I don't craze uh, with been, the girls. It, it's been going for a while. Yeah. yeah. I like I like my I like my woman classy. See, it. You know? It, it's I, a, I call it classy. I just, I don't, you know, I don't think having tattoos is unclassy. I just don't like women with tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. It's preference, I guess. I, My wife doesn't have any tattoos. Thank you. But we know. Um, I have one tattoo. It's on my back. You know, like up on my shoulder. And I forget the damn thing's there until somebody says something <laughs> about it. Or we start talking about tattoos. Yeah. I, I haven't seen a damn thing in years. You know? <laughs> but. 
see, this is a hard subject for us because we know people that have tattoos. We know girls that have tattoos. Yeah, we know people that have tattoos. We also know a couple of tattoo. Natalie from Generations. Yeah. You know, she has tons of tattoos. Yeah. The tattoo she has looks really nice. She owns a tattoo parlor. But what is the craze with the girls getting the tattoo? I don't know. You tell us. I, I mean, I really want to know. If you're a girl, hopefully you're a girl watching this show. You know, we have a demographic of 100% of men. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> if a dude, if you have your wife has a tattoo, get her to explain to us why. What's the craze? What, what is the craze? Because I, I just don't get it. Because I always thought, you know, uh, tattoos, you know, I have a tattoo, you have tattoos. Yeah. You know, I always thought if I like something well enough, maybe I might get a tattoo of it. Yeah. But as I got older, I'm like, that would make a really nice painting. 